Outdoors bound tonight. Let's take a walk on the wild side. George Nolliff of the WFXR Outdoors Bound team joins us now. George, this does not sound like a standard nature walk. Stoney, you're going to need a pair of waders if you want to take this walk. Yeah, that's right. How y'all doing, folks? When I say wild, in this instance, I'm talking about wild trout. Rainbow. The Jackson River below Lake Moomon above Covington is a special place. It is one of the few self-sustaining, naturally reproducing trout streams in the Commonwealth. There is no stocking on this stretch. All the fish are wild. But these are wild fish. These fish are born in this river. Uh, they live in this river their entire life, um, which makes them much stronger. And the colors and the vibrancy of a wild fish there's no comparison to a stock fish. So that makes it very special. That is veteran Jackson guide Rob England of Appalachian Bronzeback Adventures. While there are good numbers of rainbows and a few brook trout, the species this section of the Jackson is best known for is the brown trout. The people who fish this wild stretch of the Jackson have an almost sacred bond with the trout they target. Uh, we do catch and release out here on this river because I just... I I can't bring myself to keep wild trout. It just, it's too special of a thing, especially here in Virginia where it's so rare to have a river full of uh, wilds. That is guide and lure maker Dennis Perko. Fishing on that stretch of the Jackson is good all year for browns, but March through November is better with pre-spawn in October the best. Now you can fly fish or fish conventionally. Either method is effective. What sets that segment of the Jackson apart from other rivers and allows it to have its own wild trout population, though? Good question, Stoney. Water temperatures are consistently cool. That's because of the outflow from Lake Muma, and the water is clean. And remember, trout can only thrive in clean water. If you get the chance, you want to float that section. The scenery is breathtaking, and the fishing, some of the best around, Stoney. Sounds like we got to plan a trip. <laughs> Thanks, George. John?